Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to have a look at how we can organize kittens and parrots. Now, actually what we're going to have a look at is how to organize things in paint.net. What you may have noticed in paint.net is there's actually no grid like you have in Photoshop or Fireworks. So there's a way around this and the way around it is to use a plugin instead. So we're going to install the plugin today and see how we can generate a grid with it. When I say grid, it should be confused with the grid available through the view menu up here. What we're looking for is more like an editorial grid where we can nicely arrange our images so it looks aesthetically pleasing. Right, so enough about that. Let's jump into it. The first thing we want to do is go to the website. The website link will be available in the description, so don't worry about that. You want to look for the little zip file down here. If you click that one, click OK, OK, and then we open the folder. In here, don't get confused by the different folders. Just the one you download, just extract the file, and then you want the grid DLL. I've got more grid makers here because I downloaded it before. And then you want to go to C drive, program files. In program files, we normally find paint.net. Have it here, paint.net. And then you want to go to effects folder. And then you can paste in your DLL here. Okay. Next thing you want to do is restart internet for it to take effect. And open it back up again. And we got our kittens and parrots back. So we notice down here, if you select the folder down here, and we go to effects and render, and then grid here, we can then apply it. However, we're not interested in applying the grid to this layer, because we got already got a picture on it. So what we want to do is actually go out and create a new layer and apply the grid to that so we can and we can sorry, turn on the visibility of the grid whenever we want it to show or not. So there we go. And if we slide this now again, create that grid, and you can adjust it however need you are, and click foreground on it. Click OK. And we can now reposition our images again. Parrot over here. We can have kitten and parrot together, it's not gonna work. There we go. And just deselect that one and move the last kitten away from that parrot so that there's no fighting going on. And there we go. However, I do suggest if you are gonna do any real editorial work, I would probably recommend you to use InDesign. However, in this case, it can't be done with paint on it. And it is free after all. And as always, guys, don't forget to make me smile by hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.